Welcome back to Tense Lady Info. Looks like MiG-21 is in bad news everywhere nowadays and it's really a vital decision to retire them from every air force of every country. Recent news has come that another MiG-21 fighter of the Libyan Air Force crashed on May 29, 2021 during a military parade. To be more precise, a MiG-21 fighter jet crashed during a military parade of the Libyan National Army. in which the pilot was killed due to the recent crashes involving these mig 21 these fighters had been badged as totally unsafe and everyone wanted it to be retired the mikoyan gurevik mig 21 is a supersonic jet fighter and interceptor aircraft designed by the mikoyan gurevik design bureau in the soviet union sometimes i feel that spoiling an aircraft's reputation just because it started crashing frequently is not good these mig 21 fighters have played their role in many missions for india and other countries these fighters do have their own good things and unique features which has made these supersonic fighters so famous and made it the most produced supersonic jet aircraft in aviation history even though we have been hearing news about everyone blaming the mig 21 bison fighter due to recent crashes We should not forget that MiG 29K of Indian Navy also needs a replacement. Not sure why Indian Navy is not taking any steps towards it seriously. Even though Indian Navy reduced the count of multi-role carrier-borne fighters from 57 to 36, we didn't see much effort in finalizing the fighter for the aircraft carriers. I would love to see if they start taking this on priority and not delay like Indian Air Force in the case of MiG 21 fighters. The Indian Air Force has operated about 872 MiG-21 fighters since the time they were first inducted in 1960s. The crash of the Indian Air Force MiG-21 Bison fighter, which happened on May 21, has once again aroused furious reactions from social networks and called the government for retiring the Soviet-era jets. Although the French Rafale fighters are being inducted, and with 21 more MiG-29 and 12 Sukhoi Su-30 MK fighters being procured from Russia, Indian Air Force still needs MiG-21 Bison to be in fleet until they get retired by end of 2022 tentatively. The excessive media coverage of the crashes brought more spotlight on the vintage aircraft and made it look like as a dangerous fighter, but in reality, it is being used beyond its lifetime. On 27 May, number 23 Squadron, which is also known as Panthers, flew a missing men formation over the base led by the commanding officer to honor the departed warrior and to honor a tradition. The tradition is that after a fatal accident, the first sortie in the squadron is flown by the commanding officer himself. The Indian Air Force pilots have carried out so many flights and sorties using these MiG-21 fighters. and they have performed exceptionally well so let's not tag any fighter as unsafe these were my opinions and the opinions i gathered from news sources i too agree that the aging mig 21 bison of indian air force and mig 29k of indian navy should be retired at the earliest to save pilots and also to make sure the squadrons have the latest and updated aircrafts thanks for watching I'll upload another video with a new defense update or an aviation update later. Please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell button next to it and also feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you.